chance to give you the girls game. I'm happy to join by head coach Morgan Thatcher. Coach, you guys are right in the middle, five and seven, just waiting to clinch that playoff spot. And without a couple uh, key fleet throws, you could have basically beat BR when they came in and other games for that matter. Yeah, um, we've played a lot of close games. Um, we've talked a lot about, about small things, about finishing, about getting stuff done when the game gets close. Um, we're really just working on improving in that stuff, um, even in practice and trying to make sure that stuff gets done um, in practice so that hopefully it will transfer over to the game and we can win a couple more of those close ones. Without giving too much away, what do you want to work on? I know you mentioned two good players with injuries, the Williams girls. Um, what would you? What do you want to see get done? I mean, you got a good team coming in out of the Catholic Conference and Notre Dame Academy, but there's always something. Is there something you want to see get done or look, looking at today? Um, my biggest thing is them making changes on the fly. Um, I want them to be able to see things. I want them to be able to exploit things and see it for themselves and kind of make a decision based off of that. Um, uh, they do a really good job switching up their defenses and when we were at home with them they switched up their defenses a lot um, and I'm also looking for my kids to just stay in the game like play till the every quarter every second for the whole time to the last second. Coach best of luck. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We'll be back with a tip off right after this. Thank you. Please join us for the play of our national anthem.
Everybody welcome the staff gymnasium. I'm Dominic Dan Daniano, joined by the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV. It's our absolute pleasure to give you this great basketball matchup between the visiting girls of Notre Dame Academy, the Cougars, and of course, the Lady Boxers from Brockton High School. Should be a fantastic game. Of course, the, the Notre Dame Academy Lady Cougars, they come out of the Catholic Conference. They're currently eight and three, and the Boxers are working their way back up to 500, currently standing at five and seven out of that brand new conference, the Southeast Conference. Should be a fantastic day, should be a fantastic game, excuse me, as we get ready to get underway here. And here we go for the tip-off. Boxes are just a couple breaks. We hope you enjoyed our pregame interview with Coach Hatcher. She kind of explained a couple things going up and down for her lady boxes so far this season. And with that being said, we're underway. The tip-off won by the boxes, and there's King now. King back and forth, brings it over to Dingle. All the way far to the far baseline. Now driving, kicks it out the other baseline, last touched by, they're gonna say it was last time touched by a boxer. Yeah, it should be white ball. Last touched by a Cougar, so it will be. I, I was right, it was, it's gonna say Brockton ball. On the inbound, that'll be Montero as they come out of the break. And there's a little baseline shot. That jumper won't go by Dingle. And on the break, here come the Cougars. And we're gonna get an early foul on the reach on King. That will be her first, team first. Again, just underway here in the first quarter. And bringing the ball up, that is Bar Barrett now. As they work it around the perimeter and then sliding over that. That's Hasselbeck, she gets it out driving base. A little floater won't go. Nice job by the Lady Boxers to cut down her angle and shot, but they lose the ball as they were trying to change from defense to offense in transition. There's a look from the top of the key for three. And nailing that is Foley for the Lady Cougars. And that's the first scoring for the night. Now in transition, running a little float off the glass, a little bit too much. Rebound boxes. And losing her balance and stepping on the bound was Angelina Ferreira. And here's a look at what happened there. Beautiful three by Foley. To start the scoring in this contest. And now thinking about going to the top of the key and driving, that was Robert. She kicks it back out to Callow. Callow back out to Hasselbeck. They go around the perimeters inside. Dish broken up. Nice play by the boxers. There he goes. King in transition. She might try to drive. Her floater high won't go. Rebound the boxers and we'll have a foul. No, they're gonna say she was out of bounds. So we'll have a change of possession when I believe that was Montero coming down now in the other, going in the other direction. Here come the Cougars, they can't do anything. Excellent defense by the boxers. Here comes King now, King. Thinking about driving, excellent job with the pivot foot, pivot foot by Fernandez. There's a long three for King, won't go. Almost tied the game. And now here come the Cougars in transition, driving the full lane. And we're gonna have an offensive charge, great job. By Almeida holding a position. And watch this folks, this is textbook 101, taking the charge all the way. And now we're back to live action. And we're gonna have a change of direction and offensive foul, I believe was called on the Lady Boxers. So with that being said, on the inbound, here come the Cougars. Currently up, as you can see, three nothing. 5.50 left in the first quarter in this non-league contest. Inside pass, and that's tipped. And King comes up for the box. She's gonna use her speed. She slows down, looking for a cutter, kicks it back out to the top of the perimeter. Back down to the other side for Almeida's three, that's short. Almost did it, rebound Cougars. Now here come the Lady Cougars. Trying to get something going. 
And that was Barrett. Barrett kicks over to the young lady driving a little bit too much. Lost the angle. That was Ro that was Roberts initially on that shot. And here come the lady boxes. Oh, King with a nice move. She couldn't finish. Great job on her. Her stop and go ability at center court. Just couldn't, a little bit too much on, on the shot. Not the top of the key. There's a, there's a fake. Kicks it back out to the far side. No rebound, Cougars. Not, not, there's another three by Barrett again. Timeout, timeout, boxes. You can see you score 6 0. 439 left in the first period here from Staff Gymnasium. As we zoom in on Coach Morgan Thatcher, she talks to the troops. It's really not, not much to say as far as just, you know, trying to compete with the level that the Cougars are bringing into this game. Had some great opportunities, couldn't finish on the offensive side, but it's all, fi it's all fixable. They just have to clean up a couple, couple chances. Everyone knows they are a tough team to play, these lady boxes, especially here in Staff Gymnasium. So we're looking around 439. And here's another, here's another shot. Look by Barrett's, Barrett's three. And that's where we stand right now as we come back to live action. You see it right there, six nothing Cougars. It will be, I believe it should be boxer ball on the inbound. And let's see, they did, they got Mucci. They have, um, no, they go with the same lineup. I thought they changed some of this. That was Dingle. Now on to Montero. And they're gonna get Montero for an obvious travel. And we got a change now as Callo comes out and Mucci, Mucci comes in on that switch for the Cougars. And there's, a, there's another long three. As checking the game was Orlando for a long three. Great offense, there's another shot by Orlando. That shot, this time rebound boxes in transition. Here comes King. Thinking about a bounce pass, but they're gonna get it for the up and down. Lost control of the basketball. She was trying to get the young lady cutting in and they couldn't finish. Now the Cougars. That's Barrett, who has the only scoring so far in this first period. Now she's gonna try to drive high, and she's fouled. They're gonna call that on. Oko. Her first team third, and Barrett will go to the charity stripe. The senior, 5'5", senior from Plymouth. Hits the first. Here's her second shot, and she hits them both. Right now, four minutes left in this first period, and we're gonna have a foul. That's gonna be on Orlando, Ava Orlando. And she comes in this game, the only seventh grader making this Notre Dame Academy ball team as a bench player. Now the box is trying to do a little give and go. That's almost intercepted, lose, almost losing the ball. Orlando steps in front of that. Nice heads up by the Cougars. Here come the Cougars, long pass. Baseline three, won't go. And if it does go, as Hasselbeck hits one. The box is just trying to get some type of rhythm going offensively. And driving baseline, working it in high, won't go, rebound boxers. And that's Fernandez, Fernandez King. King driving, kicks all the way, that's tipped and recovered by the Cougars. A long pass, high up the glass, won't go, rebound boxes. And now the boxes will slow it down. There's Dingle now, Dingle pivots to King. Inside, to Oka, high at the glass, can't finish, rebound Cougars. 
And a nice move finishing is Barrett again. And it comes out, Mita for a long shot. Hits for three, she puts the boxers on the board. With 2.29 left in the first quarter. Around the perimeter they go. That's Barrett now, that's tipped and recovered by the boxers. Here comes Dingle now, over to King. King thinking about driving, stops at the top of the key, works it inside to Oka. She lost control of the basketball, she couldn't hold on to it. And in transition, here come the Cougars. Orlando looks like she's gonna try three, and she just misses it, rebound boxers. Almeida now, approaching two, one, excuse me, approaching 145 left, and they're gonna get King for a travel. And with that, we'll have a change of possession. 143 officially left in this first quarter, and there's your score of 13 to three. Boxers finally getting on the board late in this first quarter. As Coach Orlando, Nikki Orlando, and her coaches staff, Lauren Green, Almeida He, Leahy, excuse me, Almeida Leahy, class of 2004. And, let me sure I get them all, get Eva Seltzer, the manager, along with Donna Dower, excuse me, Jonah Dower, and Donna and Dan Palantino. And that's the coaches staff for the Lady Cougars. Again, they're coming out of the Catholic Conference currently eight and three. So let's see what type of adjustment they make and who they come out with coming out of this timeout. So it looks like Coach Lando's gonna stay with those last players that came in the game. She'll go with that crew. And Orlando now running the offense for the Cougars. She's gonna drive, she sees a lane, feeds it inside. And they're going to get number four, that's Julia Foley. For dragging her pivot foot, we'll have a change of possession with 136 in the quarter. They go full court press. Brockton trying to run with it. There's a long shot. Won't go. Rebound. Nice spin move off the glass. Too hard. Can't finish. Spinning and recovered by the Cougars. Excellent try by Fernandez. Angelina Fernandez. Now in the boxer end, approaching 110 left in this first quarter. Around the perimeter they go. That was Foley back out to Orlando. Baseline was Foley, and they're working right around. Seven seconds, you can hear them there on the shot clock. Rebound, Brockton. On the rebound for the boxers, that's Demostis, excuse me. And there's Almeida stops. Oka cleans that up inside to Fernandez off the glass. Oh, not enough, can't finish. She's gonna try to follow. Nice back spin behind the back off the glass. Long pass. And here come the boxers trying to add a little bit more before they finish out this quarter. Fernandez. Long three, won't go. Rebound on the follow through, yes! Oko. Boxes have cut the lead to six. There's a long three for Orlando. Won't go. Rebound. Boxes. Two seconds. One second. And the quarter will run out. And there's your score. Boxes have come back. 13 to six now. As those girls will get a well-deserved water and rest. Let's see what Coach Morgan, you know, try to get an idea what Coach Morgan Thatcher is thinking on that bench. Trying to All right, so she's just talking to the troops. She might go, she might start the second quarter with those same troops. We'll find out in a minute, we'll let you know what both teams come out with when we start this second quarter. Again, non-conference game. Boxers coming into this game five and seven. And the Lady Cougars from Notre Dame Academy, eight and three out of the Catholic Conference. 
And we will, of course, it will be off the, it will be Brockton ball as we start the second quarter. And the boxes are going to go with those last starters they had in before. Yeah, it looks like they're going to stay with the same people. And there's Montero. Montero Fernandez inside. Oko! Too strong or not strong enough to finish. Rebound Cougars inside. They kick it back out for three. That's too strong. Rebound Boxers. And now the Boxers trying to cut into the six point lead. There's Montero now. Fernandez inside. Oh, nice spin, too strong. And we're gonna have a jump ball. Possession arrow will go in favor of the Cougars. Just underway, 7.23 left in the half. We'd like to welcome her to who are just joining us. There's your score, 13 to seven. And here comes Barrett now. They work it around the perimeter. Baseline for the Cougars won't go as Hasselbeck tried to get one. Now the boxers trying to regroup as Fernandez runs the offense now. Spins over to Montero. Long three falls short. As Almeida was at good thought, she was that shot, that would have cut the lead to three for the Lady Boxers. Officially 6.59 left in the half. And again, they just scored 13 to seven. They work it around the perimeter, kick it back down low, trying the drive. She's double teamed to kick it out the top of the key. That's Barrett. Round the other side to Callow. Back to Roberts who won't go. Rebound boxes. Here comes Almeida. See if she finishes. Feeds and fouled. Nice try as Montero gets fouled. She'll go to the charity stripe for a couple. I'm going to call that on Haley Roberts. I believe that's her first team third. So both teams have three team fouls with 635 left in this first half. Misses the first. And King comes in. And she misses them both. Oh, Oak on the rebound and she's fouled. Now she'll go to the charity stripe and try to hit a couple for the boxers. They're gonna call that on Orlando. I, no, not Orlando, they'll call that. Who did they call that on? Hits the first. I apologize, I missed the refs as I was hitting my, my score sheet. Here's the second. Doesn't get the bounce, rebound Cougars. And bringing up this Barrett now, Barrett all the way, oh nice play. On the steal by Fernandez, she's gonna try to finish. And they're gonna have a foul on King. King knows she's getting herself in foul trouble and they might need her in crunch time. So Coach Hatcher is doing the smart thing, having her take a seat. And here, here come the Cougars. They work the ball around. Thinking about shooting now, driving is Barrett. Spins, kicks it out baseline, a floater. And she's fouled as Hasselbeck finishes that. Gonna call that on Fernandez. That's five team fouls now for the boxers. Hasselbeck looking to try to add to the game. She gets, makes, finishes it, makes it a three point play. And they're gonna have a foul on Barrett. So both teams have five team fouls. And here come the Lady Boxers now. That's broken up. And, and we're gonna have another foul on a push.
They're going to call that on. I do not see her number. I apologize. But Barrett will go to the charity stripe and hit the first one. 5.52 left in this first half. Here's her second shot. Hits it again. The lead is 10 now. Almeida over to Fernandez. Fernandez slows it down. Thinking about driving. Works it inside to Oka. Oka inside to Fernandez. Great defense by the Cougars. And here come the Cougars. High up the glass and in by Hasselbeck for the Cougars. Now driving. Inside, baseline floater and hits. As Domasis hits that one. Lead backed up to 10 for three. Hits. Ava Foley adds to the Lady Cougars lead. And they're gonna say they got her traveling first. Checking back in the game for the boxes is Montero. About the five minutes left in the first half. Thinking about three again, again kicks it out pace. Line back and forth, it goes off a boxer. It will stay Cougar basketball on the inbound. And they're gonna get Almeida on a foul. And that will put the boxers in the penalty and put the Cougars in the bonus. So Orlando, the seventh grader, she'll shoot a couple. She doesn't play like a seventh grader, that's for sure. Trying to add to their lead, already up by 13 in this first half. But still, 4.48 left to play. Hits the first, she'll get another one. Here's the second, hits them both. Lead is 15, as you can see. 446 and running, they go press now. Trying to work it around as Dingle, kicks it all the way out top of the key. Demos is thinking about driving. They're going to get her for traveling. Four thirty-one left, and here come the Lady Cougars. Glando hits for three, and we had a steal. And a foul on Dingle. And Orlando will go to the free throw line again. Hits the first. Couple changes. Curtin checks in. And Bourgoyne checks in for the Lady Cougars hits them both. Big lead now, big lead now here for the Cougars. As they go full court and they try to mess up Fernandez, she regroups all the way over baseline, driving with her hook shot. It's gonna be on Bergnine and going to the line, that's I'll make sure I get the lady's number right. Yeah, I got it right. That is Mazine. Here's her first shot. Misses the first shot. We hope you enjoyed this broadcast of Brockton girls basketball. Again, this non-conference matchup hits the second. Barrett checks back in. 
Four minutes left in the half. Around the perimeter they go. Orlando works it down low. Baseline shot blocked. Covered by the boxers. Here comes Mazin. Hike. Oh, can't get the roll. On the follow through. Can't, another. And now we have a foul. Too good try by the boxers. They just couldn't get it through the hoop. Excellent defense by the Cougars. So now both teams are in the penalty. And the young lady will shoot a couple. Hits the first. Here's her second shot. Hits them both. Helping out the cause from the charity stripe. Long break. Cougars trying to work it around. Fernandez with her hustle steps in front of that, breaks that up. Officially 3.33 left in the first half and there's your score 30 to 13. Here on Brockton Channel, BCA Sports. On the inbound, Orlando works it to the inside to Barrett. Lost the ball and we're gonna have a foul. I'm gonna call that on Mochi. All right, we're back, sorry about that. On the break, we missed a little bit, of, little bit of action back and forth they went. Down to three minutes left in this first half. Brockton trying to cut into this Lady Cougar lead. Nice defense by Brockton. Alando kicks it out baseline, goes it all the way, brings it all the way to the top of the key is Roberts. Back, Alando has a look for three, won't go, rebound Brockton. Brockton at one time had the lead cut to seven. Actually six. Around they go to the perimeter. That was Montero and there's a shot, won't go. Rebound Cougars and on a break. Orlando now. Callow won't go, bounce, went off a bunch of plays. Finally recovered by the boxes, but it bounces in favor of the Cougars momentarily recovered by her Fernandez and we will have a foul. That's gonna be on Ava Foley. That'll be 19 fouls. Fernandez got a couple changes for the Lady Cougars with 2.11 left in this first half. Here's her first shot. Hits the first. Boxes were once down by 20. And now slowly trying to make their way back into this game. Here's the other shot. That won't go. Rebound Cougars. As they have the big girl in there helping out. Orlando. Thinking about shooting now as Hasselbeck works into the big young lady, Bognine, won't go. We'll have a, say it was out on the Lady Cougars. Brockton ball, 158 left in the first half. And now that's Montero. Tried to feed into Fernandez and driving after that play was Montero. She'll go to the line. And Borgnine will get credit for the foul. So now Brockton's in the as 
Has a, well, they are. They're in the double bonus now. It's the first. Here's her second shot. Hits them both. Has cut the lead to 14. Orlando now. Fast break. Mucci. Try to work that to Borgnine. Borgnine lost it. And she's going to get her for a travel with 141 left in this first half. Now the boxers. Fernandez thinking about shooting. She got the ball knocked out behind her. Orlando almost lost the ball herself, but she was able to regroup. 125 and running. Borgnine little shot around high at the glass and on a break. Here come the boxes, thinking about driving. There's a floater high, won't go. Gets her own rebound and follows through. And then the boxes, oh no, Orlando with her hard work from the far baseline is able to get the rebound in transition. Here comes the Cougars. Orlando for three, that won't go. And it works its way back out to Orlando. Inside the Borg nine baseline has a look. Her shot won't go on the rebound by the Lady Box, Lady Cougars. That's blocked. It will should stay. Cougar ball. 42.8 tenths of a second left in the first half. And as you can see, a 14 point lead for the Lady Cougars. Orlando now trying to move it around. She stops Bristol to the far side. That's Hasselbeck all the way out to the other perimeter. That's Mucci back to Orlando. Back over to Roberts. Orlando now. Around they go the perimeter. Inside almost like a give and go. Stepping in front of that was Meg. Amazon. But that play is met, intercepted. In transition here come the Cougars. Crazy long shot. And we'll have a foul on the throw by foul on the floor by Mazine. And they're gonna say it was in the act of shooting, so she'll shoot two. Here's the first. Checking in is Callow for the Lady Cougars. Misses it, rebound, boxes. Long play, Montero, yes, off the glass. Cut the lead to 12 and that'll do it. So at the half, your score. Notre Dame Academy, the Lady Cougars 30, and the Brockton Boxers 18. I'll be back with a couple minutes, give you some scoring highlights. We'll be back with more right after this. You're watching Brockton Community Access Sports. Since the moment you were born, I've made a thousand wishes. Wishes for your future in a world that's changing fast. Do play and laugh. Do win and lose. So do it all lovely. with confidence, kindness, and strength. And always do your best to remember that no matter what you do in this life, what matters to me is that you keep doing.
deseos para tu futuro en un mundo que está cambiando rápidamente. Juega y ríe. Gana y pierde. Hazlo todo con confianza, amabilidad y fuerza. Y siempre haz tu mayor esfuerzo por recordar que no importa lo que hagas en esta vida, lo que importa para mí es que sigas haciendo. Hi everybody, welcome back as we come out of the halftime break and there's your score. The visiting Notre Dame Academy Cougars 30 and the Brockton Lady Boxers 18. Again, I'm Dominic Damiano joined by Brockton Community Access TV sports crew here from Staff Gymnasium on the Victor, Victor M. Ortiz Court, which was an unbelievable presentation that we had the pleasure of covering earlier in the week. So about ready to run down and give you the second half. Here's your scoring summary for the visiting Lady Cougars. Orlando at seven, Hasselbeck had eight, Foley had 11, and Barrett had nine. For the Brockton Boxes, Almeida had three, Fernandez had three, Montero had four, and Oka had five. Of course, both Williams girls are out with an injury, so That kind of hurts the boxers, having those two very good athletes out, unfortunately. All right, so get ready. Stand by for a second half of Brockton girls basketball here, at Sta here from Staff Gymnasium at the Brockton High School Complex. All of us at, Brid at Brockton Community Access, hope you enjoy this broadcast. Let's see what type of adjustments Coach Thatcher told the girls. And a good sign is King is back in for the Lady Boxers very fast. And she's the point guard, and she'll start it up. And they're going to get her for dragging her pivot foot. Another turn, another turnover. And now the Lady Cougars, they work it inside, trying to cut inside, back out to the Fox corner perimeter no good baseline they work it back out around the very fast very good passing long three hits and that's Foley add three more to 11 she already scored in the first half now King trying to help out she gets it over of course over to Almeida there's a long hook a little floater by her Fernandez follows excuse me Montero follows, and she has six for the day. Boxes answer back. Lead is 13. Boxes need to stop playing defense, and they know it. Inside, work at the far side, stopping and moving. King initially, she got, she got in foul trouble early in that first half. That's going to be on King again. First foul of the first half. Just under seven minutes left in the third quarter. We play eight minute quarters in high school. And King will take a break. We're gonna need her when it counts. On the inbound, long shot. On the top, it's out of play. It'll be boxers basketball. And there's Montero. Montero out to Fernandez. Fernandez inside to Oka. Her hook shot, not enough on it. Tipped out of bounds. And I'm going to say it was last touched by the Lady Boxers. So it'll change the possession. And it'll be Cougar ball. And here come the Cougars. 6.35 left in the third quarter. The excellent passing team. And there's another long three. That's off. Rebound. Oka on the rebound for the boxes. She tries to change the transition. Gets it up to Montero. And they're going to say after the attempt on the steal, it will be boxers ball. Officially 6.22 left in the third quarter on the inbound. That's Almeida, long hits for three. That'll help to cause a lead is 10. 
Around the perimeter they go, inside. Work it back outside. Double team, then they go back inside. They have someone down low, uncovered, can't finish. Good break, break for the boxers. Now here come the Lady Boxers on the six minutes. Oka now, her little hook shot won't go. Rebound, Cougars, they're gonna try to run. They work it over the far perimeter, the far baseline, and we're gonna have a travel and a change of possession. Now 5.44 left in the third quarter. As you can see, they're a 33 to 23 lead. Box is gonna try to run it out. Almost lost control of the ball. She recovers now. All the way to the far side. Thinking three, nice look, that's off. Rebound Cougars as Montero tried to let one go. Now in transition. Cougars working on it, looking unprotected under the hoop. They didn't see her cut in. Good position by Hasselbeck for two. Lead is back up to 12. And they almost lost the ball, but they recovered. They work it around. Almeida down to Oka. High. Too much on that. She gets her own rebound. Thinking about driving and traveling was Almeida, so we'll have a change of possession. Officially 5-4-58 left in the third quarter. Now Notre Dame, excellent passing team, working th for the far side. There's a long three, nice look, and hitting is Ava Foley. She now has 17 points. Driving, nice feet inside. Too strong off the backboard, bounce pass. Hasselbeck inside, and that's blocked by Fernandez. Good job. It will stay Cougars ball in the Brockton end. 4.27 left in the third quarter. On the break. Thinking about shooting, stopping. From the far baseline, there's a shot. Rebound Oka for the Lady Boxers on a break. Here they come, here comes Montero with the high layup off the glass and in. Long break. And they're going to say is on Fernandez. On a push on her. Team second foul. Team foul. Couple changes as Orlando checks back into the game for the Lady Cougars. Thinking about going. Lost the ball momentarily. Around they go. Inside. High up the glass, but she's fouled. And Roberts will go to the charity stripes. They're gonna call that on number 30 for the boxers. It's the first. Couple changes there. Here's the second one. Misses the second one. Rebound Brockton. Coming out. There's Montero now. Montero top of the key. And she works it over to Fernandez. Fernandez drive. Well, we will have a jump ball. It will stay. Cougars ball. Orlando now, trying to work into Borgnine. Back out to the far side to number 11. That was Foley. And we have Borgnine for her first foul, the team's first foul in this second half. And here come the boxers. Fernandez turns around, takes a shot. A little bit too long. And just like that, we have another change of possession. 
3.19 left in the third quarter and running. Inside, Borgnine lost the ball on the floor. And we're gonna have a jump ball. We'll go in favor of the boxers. 3.10 officially left in this third quarter. Full, there, this is the Cougars version of the full court press, adding it to Brockton. And there's Montero in the corner, looking for help out to Fernandez, she, they get, she gets it. Thinking about driving, kicks it out back baseline, Montero for three. Won't go, tipped, and recovered by the Cougars. 2.40 left in the third quarter. Bognine high up the glass, won't go. Oko on the rebound, kicks it up. Little bit too far in front for Almeida. Orlando now for the Cougars, won't go. Rebound Brockton. And Fernandez works her way out of that trouble. She was double teamed after getting that rebound. Now Montero. 4-3, won't go. Oko takes a long shot, won't go. Approaching two minutes left in the third quarter. Around the perimeter they go. To the far side, Orlando. Inside to Borgnine, back out. Around they go, top of the key, there's three. Won't go, tipped, covered by the boxers. Long lead for Almeida. Inside, but that's blocked. And then taken again, then blocked and taken again by the Cougars. Orlando thinking about driving her floater high and hits. Now the boxes. There's a high floater up the glass. Nice sh shot by Montero. And, and the Cougars now. Borgnine high won't go. Rebound. Almeida for the boxers. Approaching one minute left in this third quarter. Her floater high, and she's fouled. So she'll go to the charity stripe with 102 left in this third quarter and a 41 to 27 lead. Here's a look at her right here. Her floater went down hard. And she'll go to the charity stripe and try to cut into this Cougar lead. Here's the first. In and out we go. So we got three changes for the Cougars. And the boxers have a couple changes. We'll get you those in a minute. Looks like Mazine's in, and it looks like Dingle's back in. Now Fernandez on the inbound steal at the glass. Nice play. So we had a delay game, basket did count. Now Curtin in, and we'll have a foul. We're gonna call that an Oka. Inbound pass in the Brockton end, 47.9 tenths of a second left in the third quarter. Long baseline shot, won't go, rebound boxers. Almeida cleans that up. Defensively on the boards for the boxers out to the other side. Thinking about drivers, Mazine inside. Have a hold on Mazine, I mean on Oka. Another change of possession here, 34.7 tenths of a second as you can see, and there's your score. Lead is 11. Boxers have cut it at one time to six in the first half. Orlando lost the ball, got a little bit ahead of herself. Rebound Brockton. Now Dingle bringing it up. There's three. Hits. Almeida. Six. 
six seconds left. No shot clock. Orlando trying to think of some baseline. Curtin won't go, and that's how the third quarter will end. With your score, Cougars 41, Boxers 33. And, of course, we'll stay right here. Again, Notre Dame coming into this contest out of the Catholic Conference at 8-3. and three. Boxers would love to get something going and improve that 5-7 and seven record. And they have eight minutes to do it in the fourth. Looks like King's going to check back in. And so is Montero. King had a little bit of problem grabbing her composure. A couple of reaching fouls got her in the foul trouble early in the first half. And now here in the second half, but she's going to start and come back in. So the boxes are going to go with King, Fernandez, Oka, Almeida and Montero. So that's who the boxers are going to go as they start the fourth. The Lady Cougars are going to come out of their break at the end of this quarter. And they're going to come. They're going to go with Foley, Roberts, Barrett, and Callow. Now the boxes. There's King. Would love to help out the cost. Her floater won't go. Rebound. They're going to get a foul on King. And she thought she'd have a jump ball. Now the Cougars working inside. Nice cover by Fernandez. And now we'll have a jump ball. Great defense by Brockton. We'll have a jump ball. Possession arrow goes in favor right now to the Cougars in the Brockton and on the break. And try, they work to the top of the perimeter, all the way to the far side. Now over to Callow, back to Hasselbuck. She's driving, floating baseline, too strong. A follow from the other side won't go. Oker on the on that, and now quickly coming is Montero, and she'll be fouled. And that's gonna be called on Callow. So she'll go to the charity stripe and try to dig into this Cougars lead here. Misses the second. Rebound, Brockton. Fernandez trying to make something happen. Great also by the young lady out of Montero. Over to Almeida. Tries to feed Fernandez. That's tipped. Works it over to the other side. There's a crazy shot off balance. Almeida. King with a look. That's off. Rebound, Brockton. That falls through. Montero cleans that up. The lead is seven. Now the Cougars, and King steps in front of that. She has a speed, she can run, bounce pass, off the glass, and in. Montero, timeout, timeout, Cougars. Boxers have cut the lead to five, 6.43 left in the game. And here's your foul situation, the Boxers have six. The visiting Notre Dame Academy, the Lady Cougars have three. As we give you that look on the bench, from the bench view, and see the two injured play, the Williams girls not able to participate, Elizabeth and Alexander Williams. They could really use those guys right now. So Thatcher. Little pep talk, she knows the girls can lead, cut the lead to seven. This will be big. At one time, the boxers were actually down by 20. Boxers come out of the break with King, Almeida, Fernandez, Montero, and Oka. 
The Lady Krugers are going to go. They're going to go with Hasselbeck. Barrett bringing the ball up now. Roberts and Callow. There's Callow's shot. That won't go. And we'll have a jump ball. Possession arrow, possession arrow will go in favor of Brockton this time. 6.30 left in the game. Oop, little miscommunication between our, between our meet and King. They recover. King for three. That won't go. Rebound a follow up and she's fouled. Nice second ever by Montero. And she'll go to the free throw line and try to add to the lead. Here's a look at it as King's shot was long. Montero follow, follow, followed through, but she was fo excuse me, fouled. And here's her first shot, hits the first. And she gets the roll and she cuts into the lead again. The lead is three now. Brockton has come all the way back. Long pass, Hasselbeck, baseline. Callow, Hasselbeck again on the other side with a look for a long three and hits. Foley, lead back up to six now. Brockton needs the answer. Long pass, Almeida. Over there, Fernandez inside up the glass, and she fouled. Nice job by the Lady Boxers of Montero. Hits it off the glass. Has a chance to make this a three point play. And Orlando checks back in for the Lady Cougars. 547, as you can see in the top right corner. Left in the game, misses the one, misses the section, misses the free throw. The lead is four. Lando, very fast, very quick. Thinking about driving, kicks it out for a long three. That's off. Rebound, Brockton. That's Fernandez now. Looking for some help, gets it over to King. Lead is four. Almeida, they'll wind it up again. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Almeida, little floater, high up the glass, won't go. Rebound, Fernandez for Brockton. Almeida now, her floater, won't go. Rebound, under the won't go. Rebound, Brockton again. And they're gonna have a foul on the floor. We call that on Roberts. It'll be Brockton ball, 5.04 left. On the break, there's King. King driving, stops. Oaken now, lost the ball on the floor. We get a loose ball. And let's see if they got King for that. Lead is four, 4.55 left in the game. Again, the boxers have come down from 20 at one time. Nice play by the box and the steal by Montero. Trying to finish his king. Oh, too high, can't tipped. Rebound Cougars. And Orlando lost control of the ball. It will be Brockton ball in the Cougars end. 440 left in the game with a four point lead for the Lady Cougars. On the inbound, Fernandez over to Oka. Oka all the way down. Almeida with a look. That won't go, rebound tipped. And let's say it was last touched by Oak. It'll be Cougars ball, 4.30 officially left in the game. And now just a four point lead for the Cougars. And the boxes have come all the way back from a 20 point deficit that they actually had one time in the first half. Now Orlando, good moves. Works it inside the house, or back too much. They're gonna say she was followed by Oka. And Hasselbeck will try to add to the Lady Cougars lead with four minutes and 19 seconds left. 
That'll put the boxes at 17 fouls. Helps the Cougars get into the bonus. And the Lady Cougars have six. One more in the boxes. We'll get into the bonus. Missed the first, missed the second. Rebound. They work it back out to the perimeter. Baseline now. Just throws it up in the middle. Can't get it. She tries again. That's tipped and recovered by the boxes. Here's King now. King inside. Oh, stepping in front of that is Orlando. Nice read by that young lady. And she is a seventh grader. Excellent hustle, 3.51 left. Almost losing the ball, tipped, blocked. Great job by the boxers. Long pass to King now. Time out, time out, Cougars. Here's your situation. 3.39 left in the game, 45-41. Cougars, Brockton has seven team fouls. The Cougars have six. Again, 339 left in this game, in this non-conference game. Notre Dame Academy coming into this game very strong with an eight and three record out of the Catholic Conference. And of course, the boxers slowly trying to work their way back to 500. And they have two girls out with injuries. Both Williams girls, the sisters, Elizabeth and Alexandra. All right, so we come out of the break. Let's see if this adjustment that Coach Thatcher made will help them out with 3.39 left. Again, at one time, the boxes were down by 20 in the first half, and they have battled back. Boxes are going to go with Almeida. Montero, Fernandez, and Demostas. Now, Orlando off the inbound. Boxes go the full court, half court press, actually. And there's an interception. Stepping in front of that one smartly was Dingle now. Inside, Fernandez, she lost the ball. Loose ball on the floor, we're gonna have a jump ball. Possession arrow will go in favor of the Cougars. Now Orlando. Covered by Almeida. Works it inside to the to Foley. And that ball inside is intercepted. Rebound. I mean, stepping in front of that was Montero. Almeida for three. Won't go. Rebound. Fernandez for Brockton. She follows through. Ball's loose on the floor, recovered. They're gonna get Orlando for a carry as she tried to get out of that Brockton defense. Timeout, timeout Brockton. 2.47 left in the game, 45-41 Notre Dame Academy. Of course, we'll stay right here as we look in on the huddle for the Lady Boxers. As coach looks over her right shoulder, has a good idea. Make sure she uh, gives the situation over to the girls as she sits down her starters. And you can see them right there. Montero, Dingle, Almeida, Demostis, excuse me, and want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Fernandez. All right, so here we go as you come out of the break. Great non-conference matchup here. Boxes have worked too hard to let this go. Again, if you're just joining us, the boxes have come down from a 20 point deficit with 247 now left in the game and only down by four. Driving, long hook, hits! Oh, Montero has cut the lead to two. 2.36 left. Now Orlando trying to thread the needle, kicks it out 
for a long three. There's a look, won't go. Rebound Brockton. Nice hustle by Montero. She's gonna try to drive, float it again, won't go. Rebound Cougars. Thought she saw her lane, took advantage, but couldn't finish. Nice try, approaching two minutes left in the game. They'll do what they do good. The Cougars, they work the ball around fast around the perimeter. We're gonna have a foul. And that's gonna be on, on Fernandez. Officially 2.05 left. Hits the first. The lead is three now. Okos checks out. The Monsters checks back out. Okos checks back in. Hits it. The lead is four. But now they get the big girl there. Montero, Almeida. Almeida thinking, spinning, she can still dribble, she knows it. Oko baseline for three. Oh, in and out, won't go, rebound, Fernandez. Dingle now. And they'll line it up with a fresh 30 second clock. Dingle driving baseline, her floater won't go. Rebound, Cougars. 130 left in the game. And they're gonna get Oka on a on a foul. One twenty six left. 47-43, and Roberts missed her first shot. And here's her second shot, trying to add to the Cougar lead. 126 left in the game. And she hits it. Lead is five now. Almeida, excuse me, Montero. Moss's shot is blocked and recovered by the Cougars. Orlando now. Timeout, timeout, Brockton. 107 left in the game, 48-43. Both teams are over the limit. Brockton has eight, and Notre Dame Academy has seven. We hope you enjoyed this this game. For those who are just tuning in, the boxers have come down, have come back from a 20-point deficit. We hope you're enjoying this broadcast on Brockton Community Access TV. Not as big a crowd as we were hoping to attend this game. Most people watch the game anyway on Access TV here in Brockton. Hopefully Coach Thatcher will put something, I mean, just a couple bad breaks. Great defense by the Cougars. Those last couple tries, last couple offensive runs, I should say, from Brockton. So the box is going to bring out King. Dingle, Montero, Almeida, and Fernandez. They need a score and they need a defensive stance and another score. Now King. Over to Montero. Montero thinking about driving here. Floater and hits! Underhand, the lead is three. Trying not to foul. And losing the ball momentarily. And around the perimeter go. There's three blocked. Oh, and they're going to get a foul. They're going to say she was hit by Montero. And with that, Barrett was fouled in the act of trying to shoot a three-pointer. So she, I believe she's going to get her three shots. And...
And she hits the first. Here's her second shot, hits them both. Lead is back up to five now. 45.8 tenths of a second left in this game. Here's trying to go three for three. And she does. Timeout, timeout, Brockton, 42.6 tenths of a second left. And the Lady Cougars have extended their lead 51 to 45. But a big story is the way the Brockton boxers have come back from that 20 point deficit. And have yet really to figure out late in this game as of right now how to figure out that Lady Cougar offense. Excuse me, that Lady Cougar defense. If it stays the way it does, the boxers will end up falling to five and eight. Lady Cougars improved to nine and three. Of course, the Lady Boxers playing out of that very tough and, and aggressive new, brand new Southeast Conference with Bridgewater, Raynham, Dartmouth, and of course the other opponents they used to out of the big three, Durfee and New Bedford. So we'll have an inbound pass. Alameda right in front of us, in front of me I should say. Here comes King, King. And Orlando read it. She's gonna try to finish. And she's fouled. And Alameda fouled her so she'll go to the charity stripe. Here's her first. Oh, misses the, misses the first. Here's the second, hits the second. Lead is seven. King, Almeida, for three. That won't go, rebound Cougars, and we'll have a foul. That was on Montero, and Haley Roberts will go to the charity stripe, and then the boxes are in the double bonus. Hits the first. This is the second. Say it was last touched by the Cougars. It'll be Brockton Ball. Now King. Almost lost it. They're gonna say she stepped out of bounds and she lost it, she did. So it'll be Cougar ball. And we're gonna have a reach foul on Fernandez. And that will bring Kristen Bar Barrett to the charity stripe to shoot a couple. Hits the first. And the second. Leads back up to 10. Long three and hits. Timeout, timeout Brockton. 1.5 tenths of a second. 
55-48. Cougars. And the boxers tried everything. Let's see how they finish this game. They've showed a lot of heart for those who are just tuning in. Great, great show of class by the Lady Boxers coming back from that deficit. But hats off to that Lady Cougar defense who held the Boxers to only 48 points. Right now, again, 55 48. Notre Dame Academy. On the inbound. And that's it. And that's how the game will end with your score. Notre Dame Academy, 55. The Brockton Boxers, 48. Notre Dame will improve to 9-3. and three. The Boxers will drop a hard, one, a hard one after coming back from 20. They'll fall to 5-8. and eight. I'm Dominic Damiano. For everyone from Brockton Community Access, we hope you enjoyed this broadcast of Brockton High School Girls Basketball. We will catch you next time. Everyone have a fantastic week.